Hey guys, um, you're watching DShack Tech, and today um, I'll be doing a room tour or desktop um, setup or a geeks room tour, um, something along those lines. Um, I made 150 or so videos on this channel, and I guess it would be a good time to do it, I guess. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. I'll go through all my stuff on my desk. Alright, so here is just an overview of my desk in all its glory, I guess you could say. Um, so here's just an overview, and so let's just get into more specific. Um, so starting from the left, um, I have a pair of Philips MMS uh, 130 um, speakers. Um, they're pretty old, um, I got them from my dad. I don't really know when they were made or how much they cost, um, but they work pretty well for what I do. It's nothing too, much, too major, I'm not really an audiophile in any means. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have for my speakers. Um, next to that, I just have a pair of iPhone headphones or the ear pods. Um, and then moving on, so I basically have two monitors, um, as you can see here. Um, my left one um, is a 19 inch um, Dell 190 FP. Um, that's just the actual number, and it's a 1280 by 1024. Um, it's sort of weird, it's sort of square. I don't think they make those anymore. Um, but again, this is fairly old screen. It still works pretty well. Um, for what I use, I just have my Twitter account, my Twitter feed, and my iTunes on that um, second monitor of mine. Um, and then moving on um, to, the, to my main monitor, as you can see, it's that Final Cut running. I'm doing some video editing. Um, that is a 24 inch 1920 by 1080 um, screen. So I think it is HD or 1080p, I guess you, um, is the technical term. And it works really well. I'm really um, glad I got it. I think it cost me, I got like 150 bucks um, like on sale or something at Best Buy. So that worked out really well. Um, I've been using it for about a year now and I've been totally pleased with it. Um, so down below, um, I have a little cable management thing made out of Legos. Uh, doesn't really work too well, doesn't really stay on the ground too well, but um, it just makes it look a little bit neater, I guess. So yeah, that's how I do my cable management. Um, and then here is my 1.5 terabyte Western Digital um, external hard drive. It is a hard drive, so it is fairly slow, um, but I don't really need it to be fast. I just have it. I just have all of my videos, um, all my all my video files from DShack Tech on there. So that's just where I keep it. Um, I load, I turn it on when I start video editing, and I pull stuff off the off the drive. It works really well because I already have more stuff on that thing than my my Mini Mac um, could handle. So let's take a step back. Um, so here is a Magic um, Apple wireless keyboard. Um, I just got it because I just ran out of USB spots and I just wanted it to be a little bit cleaner. And I had the money laying around, and so it's a good purchase. Um, the next to that I have a Magic Trackpad, so I use it for just web browsing and just this, the two finger scroll is really easy to use and it works really well. I just I just swap hands from my the ball mouse um, to here and it works really well. And then going on to there, going on to the right, I have a Logic Tech, um, just the mouse with the with the ball on it. This is what I use for all my video editing and really um, all my image editing, motion five, all that. Because it's really specific and it's really nice. I'm really afraid they don't have they don't make these anymore, which I'm really I'm sad about. Um, maybe I'm just one of the few who actually uses these types of mouses. Um, but that is the Logic Tech um, mouse. Here's my Mini Mac, a mid 2010. Um, it's 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo with 8 gigabytes of RAM. I upgraded it from I think 4 to about 8. Um, it runs OS 10 Lion 10.8.2 and just has a 320 gigabyte um, hard drive. It works pretty well. Um, it sort of lags when I when I edit video on Final Cut Pro, um, but it does the job. Um, I'm not. I'm just glad I didn't really have to buy it. I got it from my dad again, so it worked out really well. I'm totally pleased that I have a computer in the first place. So yeah. Um, and then moving on, um, I just have my iPhone. I'm on a little, on a Griffin stand. It is an iPhone 4, not a 4s. And then moving on, I just have the right um, Philips um, speaker. Um, and that's the same one as the left one. Then I just have a, a cup for all my pens and stuff. Um, and then moving on over here, I just have a couple of notebooks, um, a notepad um, to keep notes in um, for my channel. And then moving all the way back, um, I just have a little, this is a glass um, desk. Um, it just has a wood frame, then a glass piece on top. But underneath is the cool artwork uh, my sister did. Um, I thought it looked pretty cool, so I just added it on there. Um, and it, and it works pretty well with my desk. I think I, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but that's just me. And so that's 
Oh, and I totally forgot. I have a Logitech C6, C615 webcam up in the top right corner. <clears throat> top right corner. Um, that's what I use for web chatting or doing my OS10 tutorials um, on the screen. And then up top, you see those glaring lights. Those are just a couple of lights I got from Home Depot. They cost about seven bucks. Um, and, and they're standing on a couple of PVC st um, stands. You can see that black line on there. It just stands. And that's, that's what I just use for um, when I make videos to light my to light up my setup. And then oh, and then the most major most major thing is your chair. And so this is my chair. I got it from I think Staples um, of all places. And it only cost me about I don't know ninety dollars, a hundred dollars. Um, works pretty well. I think it's one of the most important things about your desk is a good chair. Whatever that means for you is whatever it means. Um, I like this type of chair because it's really comfy. I've had it for about half a year now. Rotates, and it, it's a big enough space, just just big enough space for the for my chair to fit and move around in. You see all those wires on the ground just for lights, lights and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my chair. Um, that's my little operating zone for my desk. Um, it's sort of weird. My desk is sort of in the middle of my room coming out uh, out of the wall like in the middle so it sort of separates my bed um, to my desk area um, move, let's move behind the desk to show you my ma my poor um, cable management this is one thing I need to upgrade or work on is my cable management there's a whole bunch of wires everywhere it's sort of a rat's nest um, but luckily I don't really see it too much just when I'm sleeping but that's okay so there's all my wires from my mini Mac and they just go because I have two monitors so there's HDMI to mini display port uh, converter, I think. Then here's my other 19 inch monitor and has all of its power um, stuff going all around and all feeds into here. And so actually, this is a piece of wood that's covering it up Take off the magnets. And this thing can actually just slide right off. And that is pretty sad, pretty bad. I need to work on that, I know. But, and it goes all the way down. There's a power cable down there. And that's how they work with it. And it's just a piece of wood that comes off and it's attached by these magnets or by this metal plate that I attached and just magnets connect to it and just keep it in place so I can unattach this piece of wood and get to all the cables if I need to. Um, but yeah, it's pretty sad, I know. But I'm working on it. And then you can see up close my my well my light stands right there one two um but yeah that's pretty much it for my desk so that pretty much does it for this um desk tour and all the stuff i use for my channel and just my um desk setup i hope you guys did enjoy it. and if you guys did leave me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it if you did um check my channel d shack tech for more um product reviews app reviews osn tutorials i do make videos on a weekly basis um um, so yes, that's D Shack Tech. And be sure to subscribe to notify when I upload more in the future. And follow me on my social media networks. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So follow me on there. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. And as always, see you guys next time. Here is my Pico dolly. What I do for my um, my panning shots, my rolling shots. That's what I used to send there. I just have a Nike box. Um, does give you a 1700 milliamp hour battery that gives you up to eight more hours of internet usage on 3G, of talk time on 3G, and internet usage on LTE. Hope he does things this time.